Hello students. Today we will see how to use modifier in Blender. In the right side you can see this uh, spanner kind of icon where we can add some modifiers. So before seeing let's uh, you know, add some segments for it. So I will just increase this size. And I will just position top. Scroll. Uh, I want to change the preference setting. Let's change the preference setting so that my navigation will become very easy. So I'll go here navigation. I'll switch on this ori orient and zoom both. So my navigation is easy now. So now let's add some subdivision for this. So I'll go to the edit mode and uh, we'll go here edge subdivide. So I'll go inside and I'll just add some subdivision. This is for experimenting the modifier. Okay. So in the right side I'll go now. Let's add simple deform. Inside the simple deform we can find like bend, taper, all those. Okay. So let's add simple deform. So it's doing its job. So I'm getting something like a you know, a piece. So. I want to you know bend the mo model. Uh, let's see how it is bending. So this is the way it is bending. It is bending from this origin, the center of the geometry, and this is the angle which is bending. It's it's looking like you know different bend. But I want to bend like an arc. Okay. So on that case, uh, we can take the help of this origin. Okay. We can create a temporary origin. From there we can have a bend. Okay. So to create a temporary origin point, we can see in the right side, we can pick it, right? To create that, I'll take the help of empty. Empty is like a helper, okay? You can use like a helper, which will not at all render, okay? So I'll take the help of this empty and I'll select the geometry. You can see there is a origin. I'll pick, this is my temporary origin for the bend, okay? So I change the origin of this bend now. So geometry is now bending according to this origin so let's drag this now you can see we got the bend okay and keep in mind you can also even animate you can see there is a small dot that is for animation property you can even animate these values okay so we can bend it so it depends upon this origin position so you can also move your origin and you can alter your bend and you can even change the axis like I want to bend in Y axis or Z axis all those you can try it out here okay in the same way there are other options you can try like twist so I'll remove this empty for now so let's go to the geometry and directly apply the twisting so it is twisting so let's change some axis Let's have some proper twisting. Yes, now I got the twist. See, we can add even twist of the geometry. So I'll again go back to the bend. I want to show you something. So let's pick this and let's change it to x axis. I can limit this bend. You can see there is some restriction value. Anything you can restrict to the certain value. So you can go inside the restriction you can see limit so when you click and drag so you can you can add some limitation for the bending properties so I'll, I'll, I'll reduce this so now you can see here i am limiting this area this area is not at all bending right see the bottom area is not bending because I am adding the limitation property here. So in the same way, you can also limit other. So let's go to the twist. So you can see I have limited the bottom area. The bottom area is not at all twisting. So in the same way, try others taper. You can see the because of the limitation, the type of limiting at the bottom explore this so that you know you'll get to know like what all kind of geometry you can convert 
by using a simple mesh okay explore on different mesh so that you can do lots of you know geometry without going for edit mode so this is one simple deform stretch taper waist bend just try it out now we'll see uh, another so i'll reset my file we'll see another modifier which is very important it's called boolean subtraction so i'll create another geometry for this so i have created a cylinder so boolean is generally for add subtract intersect and create the shapes so let's see how to do this it's similar to the operation of uh, even we can find in photoshop right add subtract on the about top toolbar we can find that so now let's do this is the main geometry which i want to retain okay and this this is my cutter i want to use this as my cutter geometry so what you want to do select the geometry go to the modifier go here generate and add boolean so i added boolean now what you want to do you want to pick the cutter or your second operation geometry it can be intersect okay the overlapping geometry is called intersect or you can merge with the geometry like union or difference difference is the most case which we use so i am going to select this difference select the second geometry okay and you can see the the gizmo here it has done its job but only thing in blender we need to hide the second operation geometry okay just hide this you got the boolean the set so you have not completely executed it if you want to completely execute this then just tell apply or you can even you know keep the modifier as it is okay and anytime you can come back and you can change the properties the positions all those like for example it's completely intersecting inside so i want a boolean of subtraction so let's hide this one see we got the subtraction of it so anytime you can go and change the behavior and you'll get the shape okay you can add more than one modifier you can try that one also so i hope you have got this one so let's see another modifier another important modifier which is used in some cases like generating crowds of you know geometries using this array command array generates crowds of geometry okay like um, i have a geometry here you can see so i'll place this geometry let's duplicate this using array okay so i'll go i'll add the array so now you can see i added array let's increase the count and what happened it is looking like scaling no it's not scaling multiple geometries are overlapping one upon another which you can see here in the x-ray mode so we need to give some space between these geometries so i'll go here for the factor x and increase this value so that you can now you can see multiple geometries so we can generate the crowd of array okay so you can model some like like pillars okay some decorative designs and you can have this kind of multiple geometries of array you can even do a lot of other things uh, like you can take uh, the help of the another geometry and you can offset from that like for example you can see here object offset you can also try this object we are doing now relative offset means the object is relatively moving that is called relative we can also pick some object of offset from that position also we can do this so for that purpose i'll just move this geometry from where here i'll keep this okay and i'll generate empty let it be empty 
and this time I will tell I want to move this according to the object offset according to this so I'll switch on and switch off this one now it is applied through the object offset so I'll select the empty in the right side in the outliner because I can't see both are overlapping now so so I can even now rotate so whatever the object offset will do see it is applying for that so according to object offset also we can do this and many other things also you can try using this array tool actually let's go back to the array you can see like how many number of cones we are taken if you want like something like you know um, rounding around this point what you want to do you want to change this origin okay so what i will do for that let's remove this for now i'll show from scratch it is a different effect okay you can just try many effects so i'll just move this little bit away from here and i'll use the scale scale this let me like this i'll show it later then i want to move the center of this geometry to the place of this 3d cursor so you can right click tell set origin origin to the 3d cursor so when you click this the geometry's origin is in the place of this 3d cursor okay that mean what now i can move rotate scale everything from the origin only right the origin is i have placed away here okay so let it be in the center of the world now let's add empty also let's take the help of empty okay now i'll select this i'll go to the modifier now i'm going to add array okay i don't want relative offset so let's go to the ob object offset and pick this okay so i selected this one okay so now what i will do so you can add incremental of geometries you can see because i applied the scaling so it is giving the same option so let's come back to this let's make this value to zero enter i don't want to apply those value now let's rotate this see a different result it's all happening from the center the increment of the scale which you had done for the geometry many things you can do using the you know array many things actually you can try it out Let me show you one more very useful one. I'll go and add text. This is like a planar, right? It doesn't have any thickness. So if you have generated something which doesn't have any thickness, you can add some thickness by going for a modifier instead of extruding inside the edit mode because it is a text, right? So if you go inside the edit mode, we can type it. See, we can type. Let us say it in bold because it is a text. But if I want to extrude, then you can go here and you can apply this one called solidify. Solidify is for adding thickness. See, now we can add the thickness. 
modifiers are all non destructive so that any time you can come back you can change the value and it will not also destruct this type so any time you can go edit mode and you can edit it so there is a, another uh, very useful modifier solidify so in the next video let's see uh, related to the modeling tools thank you